Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm so sorry that uh, there's something wrong. The next talk is without slide because something horrible happened. Uh, my machine, my laptop, which has all the slide inside, all the information, and all the demo inside, is broken right before I come here. So the file system is broken, and it it cannot boot past the the file system check. But anyway, uh, my talk is only uh, uh, 20, 50 minutes, so I I, I, give my, I do my best to present my talk without slide. So I'm very sorry and hope you understand. So my talk is about uh, oper operating system. Uh, operating system uh, finger beating for virtual machine. Uh, my name is uh, Nguyen Anh Quỳnh. I'm from Japan. I'm, going, I'm working for a research labo in Japan. And one of my research area is uh, studying how to protect virtual machine system. And uh, in my talk, I present how to fingerprint the operating system running inside virtual machine. So first, uh, what is OS fingerprinting? Uh, I think everybody here knows that. OS fingerprinting means that we try to identify which operating system running on the target, uh, target machine. And uh, traditionally, people uh, fingerprinting system remotely via network. For example, I, I have one machine over there. I have one laptop over there, a laptop here. And I want to know which OS running inside that machine. And traditionally, um, the way is that uh, we send some craft packets to that remote machine, and we analyze the result sending back from that machine, and we we can from the network packets already sending back, we can understand which OS running on that remote machine. So uh, OS fingerprinting for uh, a remote system like that is uh, well known and all problems. So uh, in this talk, I I I, I don't. I don't present that problem, but we pr propose a new problems. So the problem is like this. Uh, you have one virtual machine system. You have one physical system. You manage the system. And on that system, you run multiple virtual machine, OK? Virtual machine can run any OS. It can be Windows, can be Linux, can be BSD, can be Solaris, can be anything. And each uh, OS can be any version, right? So the question is that my assumption is that I manage that system. I manage the host. And there are many virtual machines running on that. And now, how to fingerprint those virtual machines? How to know which OS running each virtual machine? So the question is that why we need that? There are, there are two, um, two reasons why I need which OS running inside each virtual machine. So the first uh, reason is uh, well known. I want to protect virtual machine without knowing which OS run inside. Why? Because for example, I am, I am running IS, an ISP. I manage many virtual machines. And each virtual machine is used by one customer. So each customer has one virtual machine. And I don't know which OS run, they run inside. right? They can do anything inside the virtual machine. They can run anything inside virtual machine. So, but I don't know which OS they run inside, but I still want to protect them. For example, uh, if I know this virtual machine run Windows XP and configure worms coming, I need to, to, to put the firewall around that virtual machine, right? But if that virtual machine run Linux, I don't, I don't need to care. And, Sometimes I need uh, to know detail about which OS. For example, this virtual machine run Windows, but which version? Windows XP suffer with uh, configure worm, but Windows 7 is not. So I want to know which OS and which version true, right? So the question is how to know which OS running inside each virtual machine, given that you manage the host. Any, any idea how to know? You manage the host, the host 
and I want to know which OS is inside. So the easy question is that you use the old way. You fingerprint each virtual machine using traditional tool like Nmap. You send craft packet to, to that virtual machine and uh, analyze the, the result sending back. That's the old way, right? You can always use that. It's for, not for virtual machine, but of course you can do that. But uh, there are many problems with that way. Why? First one, the modern operating system, they have many mechanisms which is turned on by default. So you cannot remotely fingerprint. You cannot always do that. For example, Windows 7, they, they, they close all the ports they don't, they don't use. So in the case, that virtual machine has no port open and map doesn't work. Or if and map work, the result is not correct. And a uh, modern operating system has some mechanism. For, for example, Windows 7, they drop, drop on the ICMP packet by default. So the tool like Xprobe, which is a remote fingerprinting uh, tool, rely on ICMP, doesn't work anymore. So uh, network-based fingerprinting, fingerprinting is, not, is not very good. And finally, uh, if I use Nmap to fingerprint, fingerprint the virtual machine, even on the same system, from host to the guest, Nmap take maybe 30 seconds or so. And I'm not very happy with that. It's on the same, same system, but it takes 30 seconds. So I don't like that old and traditional solution. So there are uh, two other ways. People propose two other ways, which is specific for virtual machine. The first one is you may need the host, right? And on the host, you run virtual machine. So you can look inside the guest file system. It's doable. So the first way is that you look in the file system of, of the virtual machine, and you analyze it to understand uh, the file system content, and you can extract out some special file there to, to, to identify the OS. So that's doable too. But uh, there are some uh, problems too. First one is that um, you need to understand, the host need, need to understand the file system of the guest. That's a big problem. For example, if you run Hyper-V virtual machine, and the guest virtual machine run Linux, there are hundred type file system on Linux, and there's no way for Hyper-V to understand all of them. So far, Hyper-V Windows only understand EX, EXT second file system, but have others, XFS, JFS, and so on. There's no way to understand. Windows cannot understand that. So uh, looking at into the file system content is not, is not good for some hi hypervisor. And the other reason is that if the file system is encrypted, there's no way to, to extract information now, right? So looking into the file system of the guest virtual machine is not good. The, the other way people propose is that you can look into the memory of the guest virtual machine. It's too important because from the host, you can access to the memory on the virtual machine. And you can analyze the content of the memory to understand which OS run. But this way, there's some problem too. Why? Because if you want to analyze the memory of the virtual machine, you need to understand very well about the OS internals of the, virtu of the virtual machine. You need to understand very well how the OS organize the object inside the, inside the memory. And for um, open source OS, it's, it's too important. It's not easy, but it's too important. But for the closed source OS like Windows, it's, it's, not, it's not easy at all. So looking into, into the memory is not good either. So what to do now? Any, anywhere else we need to look to find the OS running inside the guest. So my solution is that I propose a tool named uh, UFO. Uh, UFO, yeah. And UFO can uh, fingerprint the virtual machine very well. It's very fast. It's much faster than, than Nmap. Nmap takes maybe 30 seconds or more. 
my tune take only millisecond and it work with all the operating system regardless how you trick you change the OS setting inside and it work with on the virtual on the on card virtual machine so here's how i i i design my 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 tune so people already look at the network traffic right and map people look at file system doesn't work people look at memory doesn't work my tool look into the cpu context why from the host you can get the cpu context of all the virtual machine you want you can from the host there are some usually virtual machine provide some interface for you to query the cpu context of each virtual machine what is cpu context cpu context in this uh, in my in my in my context which mean the same resistor task resistor um, Task register, segment register, and some special value like the ZDT table, global descriptor table, IDT table, interrupt descriptor table, and some features like if this um, virtual this OS of this virtual machine uh, turn on fast system code or not? Does it use sys enter or not? Does it use NX non executable or not? And why CPU context? It's meaningful. The reason is that uh, Intel, Intel platform, when they design the platform, they never have strict requirement on how the OS setting those parameters. You can run the segment anywhere. You can set the ZD table at any size. You can set the IDT table at any size. For example, um, um, on, on, on Linux, uh, sorry, I don't remember correctly, but because I, I lost my slide. On Linux, the code segment run at the selector 198. But in Windows, the code segment in the ring zero run at selector 8. So all of those things are different between OS. Each OS has different way to set those parameters. So my technique is that I query the, those parameters at runtime and I match them with the database of signature. And I can fingerprint exactly the OS variant and OS version. It's very, very accurate and very fast in milliseconds. And the signature doesn't depend on hypervisor. It can be used for Hyper-V, for Zen, because uh, on the hy hypervisor should provide some interface to, for you to query the CPU context. So the final question is that, how to get the CPU context? For example, you know that uh, one operating system use a code segment CS. In ring zero, it can be, for example, on Windows, it can be eight, number eight selector, as, as a selector eight. But there's no, there's no guarantee that that's the only value. value. Some operating system can Sometimes, at some context, use some special value. So how, how to get all the value that's possible, that's possibly used by, 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 the, by the OS? How, how to know that? So the easy way is that you write a tune, and you, you periodically query the context of the OS. You can get the CPU context, right? And periodically you query the CPU context, and you get the update value in the in the in the signature database. And that's not good. Why? Because even if your tune run very tightly, for example, it query every second for the CPU context, you can get many values for sp or specific uh, OS context, but there's still some, some chance that you miss something. You miss something between the interval you query the CPU context. So writing the tune like that is easy, but it's, it's not good. So in my solution, I profile the OS inside the virtual machine. I use QMU. QMU is open source virtual machine, open source emulator. And I can modify the source code. So I can profile the OS. And I modify the QMU, run any OS inside QMU, and my modification 
I modify the game view so it collect all those parameters whenever those parameters change. So I don't miss anything. So you can see that my my way is um, very flexible. I don't know I don't need to know how the OS organizes the, the the internal object. That that's run it on my QMU, which is modified, and it gets uh, all the CPU context for me anytime the CPU context changes, and it automatically generates the database for me. So after that, for each OS, I put I have own signature, and I put all the signature in a whole signature right, database. And at runtime, I query the CPU, CPU context and match them against the the, the, the the signature database, and I I can know which OS running. Inside that virtual machine. So that's how my tool works, and that's the content of my, my talk. And my tool will be released under open source ZPN license uh, sometime this month, probably middle of this month. And it works for Zen very well, for Zen virtual machine very well. You can use it to fingerprint your OS. And it has many advantages. It's very fast, millisecond. It works with. Uh, the signature, signature also work, work with own kind of hypervisor. And it's even better. There's no way in, normally there's no way for you to, to set the OS to change those parameters. So there's no way to fool my, my tune. It's very really hard. Normally this OS has no option for you to change those parameters. Yeah. So that's my talk. <laughs> Any question? So I'm very sorry about the broken machine, but I hope you understand the talk without the slide. And in case you want to talk with me, uh, you can speak outside of the room. Thank you.